Safety Oshawa. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Premier. Municipalities are in charge of delivering important services to their residents, and it's up to them to ensure that they're making the most of taxpayers' hard-earned dollars. Under this government, hydro rates have continued to skyrocket, and yet they continue to deny they're the problem. Speaker, in May of this year, the City of Oshawa received a hydro bill for streetlights. The cost of power for lighting the roads was $3,000. Speaker, what was the cost of the global adjustment? Almost $100,000. Oh boy. $100,000, Speaker, which is outrageous. Can the Premier explain why she's adjusted the city's bill to over $100,000 when they're using just $3,000 worth of power? Speaker, uh, thank you very much for the question. And I, I think it is, uh, it's really interesting for us on this side of the House uh, to get a question from the Conservative Party, uh, the official opposition, when it comes to issues related to municipal affordability. Speaker, many of us on this side of the House that are sitting in these chairs used to sit on municipal councils. And the reason that we ran for provincial elections in two I, uh, I'm a little concerned when I'm asked to keep things quiet on this side. People on this side, while the answer is being put, are provoking as well. It's not helpful. But that being said, keep it down. Finish, please. One of the reasons that many of us on this side of the House ran for election in 2003 is because we sat on municipal councils from 1995 to 2003, when perhaps the biggest tax shift in the history of this province have occurred when the Conservative Party of Ontario at that time downloaded into the municipal rate base billions of dollars of long-term responsibility that their two four they had never been responsible for. So, so, so to get a question from the Conservatives about municipal affordability, 